Consider the given statements to be true and decide which of the following conclusions or assumptions can definitely be drawn from the given statement. Can definitely be drawn from the given statement. I am stressing on the word definitely. So which of the conclusions is definitely true with respect to the given statement? From the given statement, I can understand. Can definitely be true from the given statement. Quick. Now I am sure there will be a uh, there, there will not be a consensus on this uh, particular question, right? Some will feel only one follows, some feels only two follows, some feels uh, both follows, none follows and things like that may come up. We have to just go with, I mean these are like perception based questions if you understand. I mean, well there is logic involved but there is also perception here, right? Your perception or your point of view need not match with what the examiner has, the examiner has thought. So, so don't worry too much about it, right? Feel what you feel whatever is correct, just mark that and go to the next one. So the question says to achieve economic development, people should work hard. If you want to achieve economic development, then people should work hard. So we can actually say that economic development is related to working hard, people working hard, right? To achieve economic development, people should work hard. Now look at the conclusion. The first one says, first one says economic development leads people to work hard. Now does it follow? Does it definitely follow? No. Try to understand. It's not economic development that leads people to work hard. It's people working hard that leads to economic development. You understand? To achieve economic development, people should work. So what comes first? Will people working hard comes first or will economic development comes first? People working hard comes first. Only if you work hard, then you achieve economic development. Here it says economic development will lead to people working hard. So if there's an economic development, then people will start working hard. No. It's not that, right? If people start working hard, then that will lead to economic development. So first one does not follow. First one does not follow. You're getting it. Economic development leads people to work hard. It should be the other way. People working hard will lead to economic development. So first one does not follow. So only one follows is wrong. And both one and two follows also is wrong. So even if I'm not able to decide and I have to make a guess, I'll make either two or option, uh, either I'll mark either option two or option four as the answer. You're getting it. Look at the next statement. Working hard by all the people is impossible. Now this is no way connected to what is given in the statement. Is there a relationship? No. It has got nothing to do with the statement. See, which of the given conclusions or assumptions can definitely be drawn from the given statement? Can we draw this information from the given statement? Working hard by all people is impossible. I mean, I am not saying that two is wrong, but is it related to the second statement? No. Can we say only two follows? No. See, if the second statement, second conclusion is given independently, then you can argue. Working hard by all people is impossible? No. Nothing is impossible. All people can work hard. Practically, it may not be possible, but on paper, we can say that all people can work hard. Like, for example, we can always say that all of you will qualify in the SSC CGL exam. Well, you can actually qualify. Not that I'm trying to discourage you, but yeah, we can say that, uh, uh, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. Working hard by all people is impossible is incorrect because all people can work hard. And, and by the way, it's nowhere related to what is given in the statement, right? So that's not something that can be drawn or not drawn from the statement. So we would say, uh, I would say neither one not two follows. Neither one not two follows. All right. Prime Minister has expressed his desire to make India a hub of innovations at several fora, be it in his address to the young CEOs or in his speech during his recent visit to Israel. In his words, innovation is life. When there is no innovation, there is stagnation. Which of the following is a conclusion of the given statement? So what is given here? The government wants organizations are not ideally suited to devise game-changing innovations as they are mere to routine work. No, that's not the conclusion that you derive from this, right? Prime Minister says that India has to be a hub of innovations. So uh, how can you conclude such a uh, thing from that? So uh, option one is not true. Next option, the government's best intentions there were hardly any innovative ideas which could be scaled up to the national level. Again, that's also not a valid conclusion that you draw. The government will create an enabling environment to safeguard the intellectual property of individuals, private and public companies. Yes, that seems to be a valid conclusion. Again, uh, the next one also, see all these are flaws that they are mentioning. Now, what is the uh, Prime Minister saying? He is saying that India has to grow and it has to become a uh, like lot of innovations have to take place in the country. So. That's what he's trying to say, right? So that's just it's a positive thing that he's trying to say. So the only valid conclusion that you can derive is option C. Again, this question is on statement conclusions. Okay, let us look at this question. We follow some of the best and effective teaching 
learning practices used by leading institutes all over the world a statement of a professor of mn institute conclusions the first conclusion says the mn institute is one of the leading institutes in the world now is there anything mentioned in the statement saying that we are a very leading institute in the world no what is said in the statement is that we follow effective practices used by leading institutes in the world so i cannot conclude that this is a leading institute see even a very a small institute can say that i am following uh, what uh, top institutes are following right so the first conclusion is not true now look at the next conclusion whatever is being followed by world leading institutes will definitely be good and useful yes that is a definite conclusion right because it is see what what is this professor mn uh, of mn institute trying to say he is trying to say that we follow the best practices as done by leading institutes so see there is a common norm right whatever is being followed by these leading institutes is good that is why he is trying to say the statement so that you can conclude okay so only two follows here so the correct answer here is b that is only two follows see the statement is trying to say that these leading practices by following these leading practices we are doing a good thing right that is what the statement is trying that is what the professor is trying to say so that means definitely means that these practices have to be good so that's why you are able to say that that is a definite conclusion yes the statement is trying to hint that we are using very good practices like how uh, leading institutes do so that the from that you conclude that leading institutes are using good practices hope it's clear